to follow along in today's tutorial please go ahead and update your evoto if you're using mac go to about evoto make sure your evoto is on 4.3.0-457 if you haven't updated your evoto yet click on check for update and you're good to go in today's video i'll be talking about how to fix all this annoying hair there are quite a few of them and also the new dodging and bending feature just for the body I would use that in this full retouch and still come back to the hair thing then we talk about how to eliminate tattoos on the subject you shot so without much ado let's just get right into the video these are images i have shot for quite a long time evoto has got me revisiting some of my very very old images i decided not to edit because of the much work which you guys can see i was going to do a lot in here try to fix all this frizzy hair dodge and bend the hair make sure patches are smooth and everything we're going to see how effective evoto is but first things first let's make sure the skin looks good everything about the retouch looks great double chin gone facial ankle gone reduce eye bags i mean these are not the new things i'm talking about right so body blemish this is one of the new things the tattoos is on a beta mode we'll come back to that later skin retouch let's make sure we have we have facial skin retouch which has already been available even with the first iteration of evoto the next thing i want to talk about which is a new one for this particular update is even dodging and burning i'm not a fan of frequency separation so when i got when i realized dodge and burn is available for body i was so happy so for the purpose of today's story i'm going to push all the new things i want to talk about in today's video 200 so this is a hundred let's see before and after even dodge and burn is it doing anything it is okay i see skin softening is it going to do that i don't want to do any skin softening all right so let's go to the next thing the next thing would be eyes remove red veins in the eyes then the major thing i want to talk about in today's video the hair the hair we already have an explanation on how stray hair removal works so i'm going to push this to 85 so that it takes away all the stray hair the new feature i want to highlight on today is smooth hair smooth hair push 200 it smoothens the hair the tame frizzy hair what it does is to all these little hair strands in there usually pick up light so you see them as tiny speckles of hair strands moving around this would have taken quite a while to remove but to increase the tame fizzy hair you can see all of that go down right but what i wanted to see with the smoothing hair was to eliminate all these that i am not seeing so i think for this particular image i would have to send it into photoshop to do that job but evoto helped a lot in reducing the amount of work that would have gone into retouching this particular hair with all these frizzy hair and this would have been too much work i now understand why i didn't retouch it but yeah we might maybe revisit this particular image so on to the next one this i remember shooting i did my own version i manually retouched one which i'll probably put up on the screen for you to see so i'm going to keep this at 80 and i forgot to mention the hair shine enhancements and the white hair black and if you're shooting a subject who has white hair this will probably work by blackening out white hair with the hair shine enhancement i think it's using the methodology of global dodging and bend so when i increase this you can see that let's see if this will do anything i'm not trying to there's no white hair in here so yeah this is what we're looking at this is before and after before and after 
let's jump on to another one this image i think i provided it on my instagram i asked if this was a full ai retouch if it was a manual retouch i had some mixed answers but yeah this is what happened so i'm going to remove stray hair and if you remember i did a video about this particular shoot on my channel i'm going to link it up here it was about the stray hair removal the new feature around that time the new update was the stray hair removal and i also spoke about tethering in Uvoto. so if you want a one-stop shop or one-stop software for all your portraits and beauty needs i think or even commercial Evoto should be the software to look at that's if you're losing if you're looking for a quick and fast way to provide images to clients just so they can get their images ready to go with all your retouch with all your edits with all your coloring Evoto even has a color adjustment tab or yeah an adjustment tab with new features like ai color adjustment so make sure you revisit that video so you see everything there is to it about this particular shoot so to smoothen hair i'm going to keep this at 80 i'm going to keep the tame frizzy at 100 if we take a look at this i mean some people will say it looks unrealistic what i will do next is to add some noise to the hair if i was going to do that in photoshop but let's make sure this edit is fully done i'm going to remove red veins in the eyes i'm going to come into blemish removal remove freckles and acne i'm not doing 100 percent because you know i like to keep a little bit natural in the eye bags lip wrinkle i'm going to remove that i need that smooth and silky looking lips double chin removal done i'm going to do marionette lines which are the lines usually here there are no 11 eyes here right so i'm going to go to body enhancements remove body blemishes neck wrinkle always remove that then we'll come to skin retouching skin retouching i have my even dodge and bend for face keep that at 80 I'm going to sculpt the face at 40 then body skin like i said no frequency separation for me so this at 100 percent and it does a good job by dodging and burning the dark patches so for all those who have an idea about dodging and burning my way i won't say my way because i discovered it usually how i like to do it this is what it does it brightens the darken part and darkens the brightening parts that's the dodge and burn technique i use so i'm going to unify body complexion i'm going to unify face complexion a tad bit then we're good to go so this is what we have let's do a quick before and after before and after and you're good to go if this is something you want to pro provide and present to your clients this makes the work way easier i'm going to copy all these adjustments so hold command c on the keyboard copy i'm going to paste it here let's see how this one does so i think i don't want to have the hair adjustments for the smoothing hair on this because it takes away the freeziness of this but what i would adjust here will be the body complexion unify the face too okay so we have our uh, before and after we have everything to body retouching all right let me go to the body retouching which is a skin if i send this to zero you can see you can see all this and that but this 100 does a very good job by eliminating that making sure you still maintain that natural sense on the skin as compared to what frequency separation does so i'm going to do the same here i'm going to show you how this works effectively so increase this even dodge and burn on the skin and it does a very good job by eliminating all those dark patches the remainder will just have to be a color problem where it's easier to fix with skin tone or unifying body complexion you can do ai unify too okay no i think AI unify brightens it up so unifying body complexion this works or you can choose the body complexion you want all right so for the last bit of today's video 
you're going to jump into blemish removal and the next thing to do is the tattoo it's in a beta version that i think is being tested but it does a very good job in removing all these so by clicking on this tattoo you can realize it did a very good job but there are a few bits that need to be adjusted so you can pick on the adjustment tool brush hit on add then you paint in the parts that haven't been removed so i'm going to do that let's have a clean removal it does a very good job personally i have not shot anyone with tattoos there's an image i got from a friend and around here too let's make sure it does a very good job so if you're if you're looking at removing tattoos this should be your go-to it did a very good job a very very good job as compared to if i was going to do this manually in photoshop so that's that about today's video thank you so much for joining in make sure you subscribe like and share if you want to try out everything i did a link in the description box below will lead you to the evoto page make sure you purchase some credits I enjoy using evoto make your work easier faster and quicker everything about tethering backdrop removal there are quite a lot of features i've already spoken about in previous videos i'll probably link them down in the description box below you can check them out and enjoy using evoto thank you so much and i'll see you in my next one don't forget to subscribe peace